What's up everybody, I'm Josh from Corbin Wood Studios and this here is an American elm log that was salvaged out of Seattle, grew right on the intersection of East Olive Street and Boylston Avenue. Uh, thank you to Seattle Tree Care who allowed me to salvage this thing and put this thing to second use. We're about to mill it up and see what beauty has been hiding beneath the bark for the last, uh, I don't know, 80 or so years. Let's check it out. Let's count the rings and find out how old this thing was. It's a hundred. It's a hundred like exactly. A hundred exactly. Now I'm not gonna say exactly because I definitely missed some rings, but it's right around a hundred years old. So this is my uh, first cut system that I developed. Uh, I used to use a ladder with a bunch of holes in it and I constantly was screwing it to it. Uh, over time it started degrading the uh, usability of the ladder. So I created this using um, this scaffold plank here and this little setup here, now all I gotta do is push this up against the log, clamp it down here, clamp it down there, and screw it to the log, and it's good to go. Oh man, it's heavy. But this one in particular is super exciting to me because of just the looks of it. It's a big, burly looking American elm log. Um, American elms are disappearing way too fast right now due to Dutch elm disease. And so every one that I get the chance to salvage is just uh, a little bit more special to me. all these little pin burls and cool yeah, things going on in here. That was a neat cut. Look at that burl. Look at that elm burl. Woo, buddy. These, I knew, were gonna be some of the coolest slabs I've ever cut. Ooh. Oh, man. That doesn't suck. Man. In order to uh, properly stack these logs, I try to flip them over and sticker them and stack them up as I go. So by the time we're done, this thing looks in the same form as it did as a log. So this uh, log has some of the most cool figures I've ever seen in an American elm log. I mean, there's so many burls. You got all these, I mean, that's just a big old cluster of burl. You got all these little pin burls, bark inclusions, which some people don't like, but I personally think it gives um, the option to bring in some creativity. And I mean, the, the live edge on this thing is just as live as it gets. It's very wild. Like these are some of the coolest American elm slabs I have ever seen. And I could be, not be more excited to build with them. Now, I just get to set them there and let them dry for two years before I get to work with them, which is the hardest part. Hopefully, I can find Nice customer out there 
that really wants to class things up with some glass, let me put a glass inlay in this table for you. 10 foot long glass inlaid burled American elm dining table. Let's make it happen. Come at me and let's make a really amazing one of a kind table.